Hello and welcome to 4K Gaming and Tutorials. Today we're going to show you how to fix your NVIDIA control panel because uh, if you have used NVIDIA surround and accidentally reinstalled or upgraded the drivers, the video drivers, to where you didn't in disable the NVIDIA surround, then it'll probably look something like this. Because it's been a while. I forgot that I had it in surround because Windows 10 automatically lets you use three monitors if they're plugged in but for some reason it, it doesn't do it in Windows 7 so I did it and I figured I would take this opportunity to make a video on it so it should look something like this and we're gonna go ahead and get started on how to fix that now so the first thing you're gonna want to do is go to your web browser Go to Google and type in display driver uninstaller. I'm going to go to guru3d.com. Go all the way down to this part, download the latest version. And have to wait five seconds for it to start. I already have it installed. It's telling, I mean, I downloaded it. It's telling me that I already have it. So you want to double click. It'll be a self-extracting archive. Make sure that you put this in a place that you're going to remember. So, you're going to need this later. I'll just put it in desktop uh, DDU for display driver and installer. And we go here to DDU and it has all of our stuff here. So, this is what it looks like. Um, we just got the latest one from the website. It's kind of weird. But yeah, uh, we're going to do this for the launch option. It tells you you can do it normally or through safe mode. Normally for this, uh, I automatically go into safe mode anyway just to make sure. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm not actually sure if... Uh, if the recording software I'm using to do this is going to let me record in safe mode. So uh, we're just going to show you how to do this and uh, how it should work. And if it's there while we're actually in safe mode, then I'll do it there too. But basically just want to hit uh, clean and restart. So that's, that's pretty much it going to hit clean and restart once we're in safe mode or you could have used the uh, the drop down there and put it in safe mode the one that it said recommended so we're gonna go ahead and do that and uh, I'll be right back either back here on regular windows or if it lets me record in safe mode I'll be there to to show you how it looks if possible alright here we are back on uh, regular windows 7 in safe mode, I have forgotten that the graphics driver isn't loaded as part of the safe mode precautions, and the graphics driver is what the screen cap program relies on, so we weren't able to capture that portion. So we're back here. All you really had to do was what I what I showed before was to load the load the program, click clean and install, let it do whatever it has to do, it'll tell you in a little dialog box there and uh, it'll restart your computer for you. So we're here and we need to go to your, uh, your web browser, I use Chrome, whatever is, is fine, doesn't really matter. We'll go to NVIDIA And when you type in NVIDIA, we'll have uh, drivers right here as the first result. So you go here and you go through, make sure, sometimes it'll detect it exactly, but whatever it is, just make sure you get your series, uh, the actual card, operating system, and everything right. And click search. It'll get you the latest driver. Click download. Agree and download. Let's see, oh, my program is detected, I already have downloaded this, so it'll download, and uh, when it finishes, it may be down here if you're on Chrome or whatnot, but click open, 
click OK. When you click OK, it's just extracting all of the files from the package that you just downloaded, so that might take a minute or two depending on how fast your computer it is, but yeah, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so when it's finished with that, it should go ahead and start it up. And uh, first, it'll do a compatibility check to make sure that the one that you selected and downloaded is actually the one that's in the computer. And if you don't have an NVIDIA driver at all and try to, or a graphics card at all and try to do this, then it'll tell you to install the driver for your card. So that's what this little portion here is for. After that, you go to the agreement. It really shouldn't matter whether you do express or custom, but just as a general rule, all of your settings will be gone anyway, so I'd just do custom and clean install to make sure that it uh, doesn't have any problems or hiccups. So we'll go here. And uh, we'll wait for this to finish. And uh, I'll be right back when it does. We won't be able to record this because once it uninstalls the drivers, then we won't be able to use the screen caps uh, software. But it'll just uh, do whatever it has to do, and I'll be back. Alright, we're back here again. Basically all that happened was that it installed some of the drivers that it had before. It offered you to restart now, which was was really more of a demand because it had to clean out all the stuff that it had before from the old drivers. Once it restarted, then it began uh, installing all the drivers, the uh, display driver, 3D vision, physics, all that stuff, and once it was finished there, then it uh, offered you to restart now or restart later. But um, if you had to do anything that had to do with needing upgraded drivers, which I'm guessing that you did to uh, be able to need the NVIDIA control panel in the first place, then you would obviously want to restart now, which I've already done, and we can click control panel from NVIDIA here, and there we go. We have all of our options here again. So. That's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, if this video helps you, you know, drop a like, you know, smash that subscribe button for more awesome content, and uh, leave a comment in the comment section below if you have anything to add or or have any problems with doing any of this. Anyway, later, guys.